Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to tell you about a package which I have developed and published in pub.dev. So whenever you want to create a multi-platform application uh, and you might want to add a drawer, if you use the inbuilt uh, drawer widget, it doesn't actually uh, works fine in the web because you need to slide or you need to click the button to open the drawer and it overlays over your uh, uh, web, web screen which we don't usually expect and which we usually don't want it right so i've created a package which solves this problem so just let's look into it so just go to pub.dev and this is the package sidebar underscore drawer just copy it so i'll just show you an example of what we're going to do here so when it is web it will cover the one third of the screen and when it and when you minimize it and when you uh, change it to the layout of tablet or mobile, it automatically closes and it gives you the default uh, drawer look. So when you click it, you get the overlay and that's how uh, this widget will perform. Right, so it's quite simple. So we'll just copy this uh, uh, package and we will add it in our pub.dev. So as you can see in the example here, it's quite simple. So inside scaffold, you'll have to add this sidebar widget to the body, wrap it to your uh, body. So let's do that. So I've created a default uh, pack uh, project template here. And in this home dot dot, we'll be adding our project. So inside scaffold, we will give our uh, body and wrap it with sidebar drawer. Right, so it contains two uh, attributes, body and drawer. Uh, so just let's bring it first to the first drawer and the body will be in the line. Okay, so we have two attributes inside this drawer and body. So this body contains the uh, main body. So we, we won't be able to use app bar, app bar attribute of the scaffold. So you'll have to use a custom app bar if you want. And then we'll have to add uh, main body inside this column. So here we won't add, won't be adding uh, uh, app bar. Let's okay. Let's add app bar, right? This is the our app bar, and this is our main body of our screen, right? So that was our main body, and uh, here we'll have to add our drawer. So let's just give list view. and we'll add some random data okay so let's try to run this in chrome oops all right it's going to take a while let's uh, move to pub.dev and check out uh, the documentation here mm, okay so we, what we did is we wrapped it with sidebar drawer and this custom drawer is the uh, widget which you create and this main body is a widget that you create but we also have a drawer icon which comes with this package we'll see what it does so here our project is built so we will give color to our drawer let's Let's see if we have color. Okay, we don't have color. We'll wrap it this. We'll wrap this with container, and we'll add a color to this container. Let's give blue color. Right. Let's restart it. So we see that we got our drawer here, and uh, so this is our web layout, and it covers a small portion of the screen uh, for the drawer, and when you resize it. When you bring it to the layout of tablet or uh, mobile, it just disappears, right? So now what we have to do is we have to bring back the, uh, uh, so when it is in mobile layout, we have to bring back the drawer, right? So we have a widget called drawer icon. So let's use it. So let's add that to our uh, app bar and let's give app bar a color. Let's give it red color 
and to this leading we'll just add our draw your icon right this widget comes with the package so what this widget does is it will give you an icon so when you click it the uh, drawer will open and close so let's check the, check out the example so we got our button here so when you click this button uh, we get the overlay of drawer which uh, which is the usual thing of the uh, uh, drawer sidebar right so when you click here it closes and when you click on the icon it uh, comes back again and when you resize it you can see that it automatically adjusts to the screen to the web layout it covers the one third of the portion and if you want to close it and if the user wants to close it you can just click the click this button and it will open and close accordingly so this has multiple various applications so this is one of the example which i am sh shown here so if you want to contribute to this package feel free to do so and uh, give me a pull request let's see how it goes and if you like this video show your su support by subscribing to this channel see you in the next video